All right, guys. So if you guys, so if you guys remember, a while back, I did a story, um, a fan fiction idea, basically that was like a um, pairing story between Ollie and Randy. So this is our Ladybug Randy Cunningham story. This is the sequel to that story. Now, if you all remember, in that story, at the end of it, basically what happened was, um, what basically happened was that. Um, Randy left for Paris with Howard in tow to go be with Alia for a... It, basically, he took up a student exchange program to in Paris, so now he'll be a temporary student at Francois Dupont to be, so he can be with Alia, even though he very... <laughs> he's not good with the language, but thankfully there is, like, an a, a English barrier for him to learn under, so there is, like, hope for him yet to learn like some of the language so he's not a total idiot basically he's not totally 100 percent screwed in that regard um but anyway so at the beginning of this story randy has touched down with a uh, touchdown and him and howard have touched down in paris along with alia and randy immediately does not know what the fuck to do because he doesn't know how to read the um any of the language in Paris, even though he does now he does know some. He did take a French class, and Alia has been teaching him some of the language. But the problem is, is that he <laughs> he's not exactly what you would call an advanced learner. He is in no way, shape, or form like a fast learner in that regard. He's very much like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is <laughs> this is beyond my reach, my reach of capability. I don't know what I'm what all this is. Please help me. <laughs> so all he has to like walk him through and like teach him more. While Howard is just like, I want to get the food. Like I'm just, I just came for the food and you know support for my bro, <laughs> but mostly the food. So he's already like, where's the baguettes and beignets? Come on, let's do this. I came for the food and I came for the total for debauchery. And he's like, he's like, where's where's the red light district act? And he's like, <laughs> and all is already like, okay, Howard, first of all. That's your thinking of Amsterdam. That's in Denmark, you fucking idiot. Secondly, you are not going to ra uh, ruin this for me and Randy. So you are going to shut your fucking mouth. And he's like, fine. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go eat baguettes somewhere else. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, obviously, with Randy showing up in Paris and at Francois Dupont, he's obviously. Um, people already know him because if you remember in the sequel, the character showed up in showed up in um, all like Ladybug. All of them showed up in uh, Norrisville for a hot minute. Like they were all there in um, in Paris for a hot minute. Like they were all there, not Paris, but Norrisville for a hot minute. So they know Randy and Howard. So they're all like, oh, cool. Like oh, Adrian especially. Um, Adrian especially is like, oh, sweet. Randy, buddy, because him and Randy, him and Randy bonded with um, it, it, like they became bro he became bros with Randy and Howard. So he's all, uh, so uh, so uh, so basically Adrian's like, oh, Randy, buddy, bring it in. Come on, man, it's been a while since I've seen you. Um, and he's on good terms with Marinette. He's on good terms with everybody, and um, of course he's trying to be on good terms with Nino. Um, so, because of course they're broken up, him and Alia broke up and now she's with Randy and she's having a great time. But now it comes to the attention of, because Randy didn't think this through, because when they touch down, Alia asks, so where are you staying? Are you guys, like, are you guys shacking up somewhere? And he's like, uh, did not think of that. So... <laughs> Adrian basically says, you guys can stay with me. You guys can live in my place. And he's like, oh, can we live, get to live in the mansion? We get to live in, you know, the aggressed manor? Sweet. <laughs> so, um, Randy gets to shack, Randy and Howard get to shack up at, at the aggressed house. But the problem is, um, Gabriel, like, straight up refuses. He's like, no, I am not letting some, you know, American hoodlums live in my house. They're not staying here. He's like, ah, dang it. So they end up staying with, um, uh, they end, uh, you know, they end up staying with, um, with Kim. They end up staying at Kim's house, and it's, uh, kind of like living with, um, Bash. 
because he's like pulling pranks and he thinks it's funny and you know he always wants to train all the time and randy's like we could have just stayed at bat we could have literally just stayed at a hotel for the entire semester and i would have been and this would have been so much better <laughs> and you would have <laughs> and you would have had the money right <laughs> and howard's like you would have had the money right he's like shut up <laughs> so throughout the, so throughout the story randy and alia um more or less get closer and like they're they're more or less like dating better of dating more and more and like growing closer because now they've like figured out each other they know each other's identities even though she hasn't told lady them lady who ladybug is like she hasn't told the, she hasn't told randy or howard who ladybug is even though randy's like yeah i know you're reina rouge and, but however randy's not an idiot so he's already putting the pieces together and he's like okay so i think i know who already know who everyone else is and she's like oh yeah who and he's like yeah that's marinette like ladybug's probably marinette like who else could it freaking be uh and she's like and and immediately all he's like what no you're silly that's that's completely stupid that's no way and he's like you know her you know her moveset you you call her a bff and she literally sounds like marinette tell me i'm wrong <laughs> and he's like, all right. So, and he's like, and and Adrian's probably Cat Noir, right? And she's like, what? And he's like, yeah, it's kind of obvious. Like, wouldn't it make sense? Like, it makes so much sense that he's Cat Noir. And she's like, what? And he's like, you didn't know he was Cat Noir, did you? <laughs> he's like, oh, oh dear. <laughs> because yeah, Alia knew Ladybug was was Marinette. She didn't know that Adrian was Cat Noir. And he's like, the whole point is that we mostly know each other. We don't know everyone's secret identity to keep us safe from Hawk Moth. You freaking idiot. Also, you can't become the ninja here. And he's like, why not? Because, and uh, Ollie is like, let me explain something to you, jackass. Because while, uh, like, a kid from Norrisville has shown up, and now the ninja is here at the school. Like, the ninja suddenly shows up the same time as Randy Cunningham, ninth grade student, and comes in to save the day. And he's not around. It's not gonna be Howard. I can guarantee you, no one's gonna believe it's gonna be Howard. And Randy go, you'd be surprised how many times, like people thought it was ha the ninja was Howard. And he's like, and all he goes, you can't be the ninja because people are gonna fucking figure it out. Okay, you cannot be the ninja in Paris. You have to stay here. And did you? And did you? At least you didn't bring the mask, right? And she's like, I brought the mask. And all he was like, <sighs> okay, suppressing my anger. Let's 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 uh, keep going. Like let's let's try to work around this. But you can't. He, she basically tells him you cannot be the ninja at any way, shape, or form. You cannot be the ninja in any way, shape, or form. Do you understand? You cannot be You cannot be the ninja. You can't put on the mask. You can't do anything. <laughs> For God's sake, just, <laughs> just take a break. I will be the superhero here. And Randy's kind of like upset about that. And when someone's hella upset, oh, that's when a certain Akuma shows up. And yeah, Randy gets Akumatized by hawk moth, by shadow uh, by shadow moth and he's like uh basically <laughs> he basically tells him you know you want to be you know bring me the miraculous and you will have the power you seek and, he, and randy like actually bites off the akuma and he's like whoa that is really strong will i haven't felt that since chloe whoever this kid is i need to keep a, i need to keep a close eye on so gabriel set basically has like whoever this kid is and the negative emotions he had, and the strong emotions he has, he would make a valuable, you know, villain for me to use. And I know just the person to irk him in the right direction. So, <laughs> Gabriel Inak basically gets Lila's help to do, to basically sow seeds of, like, deceit and anxiety in Randy. Just kind of, like, dig the knife, like, basically say, like, Oh, it's so cute that you guys are together, the American boy and the French girl, it's so nice. But do you ever think, like, you're too different? Like, I've heard things like Alia say this, this, and this, and, you know, maybe, maybe she doesn't want to be around you anymore. You were so lovesick. It's so cute. So, Lila does what she does best, and basically lie to Randy, telling him all these things that are, like, really fucking with his head. Um, 
until he finally does get a, his willpower is like sapped away and his he does get eventually akumatized into the Ronin. So as the Ronin, he's just uh, he just starts wrecking shit left and right and leads the superheroes showing up. Um, and as Ronin, he's just flat out dangerous. He is just flat out completely just trouncing everybody until like Marinette pulls out the um, lucky charm and it's a mirror. I mean, she's like, what am I supposed to do with a mirror? And the mirror actually points, like, the reflection points to Alia. And she's like, I know it's Randy, so you gotta deal with him. So you're the you're the lucky charm. Like, you're the one who can calm him down. So Alia has to go to Randy, and she kisses him, and, and actually helps him fight off the Akuma influence. So it actually, he breaks free again, and actually allows Marinette to capture the Akuma and more or less devilize him and save the day. So, um, by the end of it, Randy's like, man, that was crazy, but I, you know, I love I love you, and I don't want to lose you in any way, shape, or form. She's like, you're never going to lose me. <laughs> and, yeah. The two just kind of keep their superhero uh, romantic life under wraps, and more or less uh, leave it open for a third story so you guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of the second randy alia story do you guys like it hate it and do you would you guys want a third part anyway other than that hope you all enjoyed this i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time in the multiverse